And also, also, if you're having any technical difficulties, go ahead and put that in the chat and I will pop in periodically to check that, make sure everyone's doing okay. All right, thank you, Mary Therese. All right, good morning, everyone. It's so nice to see you again. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, so again, just have like your band handy and some weights, um, light weights ready to go. And we're gonna start sitting up nice and tall. Push your heels down into the floor. Kind of notice how you can kind of draw your stomach in and turn your glutes on maybe a little bit while you're seated there. And then bring your arms down by your side and then inhale, lift those arms up. Exhale, turn the palms out as we lower the arms down. Inhale, flip those palms up and lift. Exhale, flip the palms, push those arms down. And again, inhale, lift. And exhale, push the palms down. One more, inhale, lift. Push the palms down. Reach your arms out to the sides, making that T shape and take some little circles to the back. Oh, it is still so breezy and cold for the end of April. I can't get over it. But someone said that's helping the bloom stay a little bit longer. So I guess that's that's a plus. And then reverse your circles. I went out to Litchfield this weekend and looked at the, uh, there's a daffodil field um, on a farm way out there. And lower those arms down, reach your arms up to the ceiling and take your puppet arms. Right, so just start these nice big side bends. Reach, reach. Reach and reach and reach and reach. Good. Bringing those arms back out to the T. Take your thumbs up to the ceiling and just make a small fist with the palm. Pulse the arms back now. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Cross the arms in front. Sitting up nice and tall. So remember, push those feet into the floor. Kind of turn on a little bit of quad, a little bit of glute. Pulling that stomach in three, and cross, and pulse, two, three, and cross, and pulse back, two, three, and cross. Nice little stretch through the front of the body here. Pulse, two, three, and cross, and pulse, two, three, and cross. Last one, and cross, and arms down. Nice. Coming into some calf raises. So again, my feet are parallel. So if you take a peek down, your ankles are just right under the knees and just lift the heels and lower the heels. And as you do this, see if you can start to notice the calf kind of contracts, the glutes kind of contract, and you're gonna even draw your stomach in to lift the heels. So just think how every muscle connects to the next. So you can pull your stomach in to lift those heels. Nice, just kind of warming up those ankles. Nice, and then just come into some toe taps. So just leaving the heels lifted, start to tap the toes. And still breathe though. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, let the air out. Inhale through the nose. Exhale the air out. Inhale. And exhale. Last set, inhale. Exhale. And release. Ooh, nice, just take a couple little butterfly hip swivels. Good, coming on to your neck circles, right? So today I want you to turn your head left, draw the chin down towards the chest, up and over to the right, looking over that right shoulder, and then reverse, chin down through the center, up and over to the left. And again, roll down, just kind of take notice where it might be a little stiff or a little tight, 
and reverse. Just slowly work through those areas and lift. And again, reach down and up. Look at this. And back down. Okay. And look to the center. Nice. Reach your arms up. Take your nice big figure eights or conductor arms. Start to roll those shoulders open and in, open and in. And in. Reach. Good. Nice and big. Make these as big as you can. Kind of reach the palms down and up and away. Nine. And ten. And pause. Good. Shake it out. Reach down and grab maybe a one pound weight for hundreds today, if you would like. You can even come up to maybe a two pound. So we're all familiar with these now, right? Where we're gonna just pump those arms and the weights just give us a little bit more feedback. And I am gonna add a nice little leg lift today. So sitting up nice and tall, start to pump those arms. Inhale, exhale, lift the left leg up. Inhale, put it down. Exhale, right leg up. Inhale, put it down. Exhale, left. Inhale down, exhale, inhale lower, nice and tall, exhale, kind of roll the shoulders back, inhale down, strong straight arms, inhale, and exhale, inhale like you're going to push the wall behind you, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more set, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, and release. Nice, keeping the weights in the hands today, start your roll downs, right? So option just hinge at the hips or draw the chin to the chest and lower the torso towards the floor. And then just pause here a moment. Just kind of wiggle your hips behind you Notice any tightness here as well. Let the head be just nice and heavy and let it hang towards the floor. And then inhale, we're gonna slowly roll back up. Exhaling right about there, pull the belly in to help the shoulders and the head lift. Good, and again, inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, reach down to the floor, stretch through the spine, kind of push your tailbone away from you. Inhale as you roll up, exhaling, shoulders are light and away from the ears. And that head is last. Nice. One more time. Inhaling, chin to chest. Exhale, roll on down. Let everything go. Inhale. Exhale. Scoop and lift. Nice. Beautiful. Still holding the weights. Take your right arm up by your ear. The left one is just right down by your side with the weight. Lift and take a nice side bend and scoop and come back up, right? So you're gonna kind of lift the arm up and off the waist, reach over. My hip stays down right now. We're not really trying to lift too much further than that and come home. Inhale, lift, open up the rib cage on this side. Exhale, pull the stomach in and home. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it home. Lower that arm down with control. Other arm goes up. Nice. Here we go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull it back home. Inhale, lift. Up and over, right hip stays down, but you try to stretch those ribs. Exhale, home. Inhale, lift. Exhale, home. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, home. And carefully bring the palm down. Good, lower the weights to the floor. And now take a moment and just take your palms underneath your hips. So I'm gonna slide my fingers just underneath kind of my legs, my hips, and then just push the palms down into the mat, kind of again, stretching through the wrists here. 
Again, just kind of help with all that kind of phone work and computer work, just kind of stretch through that forearm and then really activate the arms if, as if you could almost push yourself up and off that chair. Nice, and release. Coming into some shoulder rolls. So bring your fingertips to the tops of the shoulders today and reach elbows together. Nice. Reach, reach, reach. Come to the front and reverse those rolls. Reach back up and around, back up and around. Nice, still sitting tall, still maybe pushing your feet into the floor, firmly into the floor. Good, now shake it out. All right, moving on to a little castanet. So arms to the sides, reaching to the front of the room. And then everyone just lift the shoulders up and then set them back down. Ha, ah, there we go. And notice where they are in space there. And now you're just gonna start to tap, pointer finger to thumb, middle finger to thumb, ring finger, pinky, ring finger, press that middle finger, pointer finger, middle, ring, and then keep reaching your arms. So as we Keep moving through the fingers. You're staying nice and tall. That's it. Good. Reach those arms away. Shoulders should stay right in place. Good. Last time. Pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, ring finger, middle finger, pointer finger, and then just roll those wrists. Roll. Roll, I know it's good arm work, just holding those arms. And reverse your roll. And lower down, Woo, shake that out now. All right, let's take our band and place it on the right foot. And then hold that leg parallel to the floor. Right, and again, I'm sitting probably forward on the chair. If you wanna sit further back for a little support, you can, or sit a little bit more forward for a little bit more challenge, whoops. All right, just start to point and flex through the, the heel. Point and flex into that band, point and flex. And then right while you're holding the band, just bend those elbows, kind of turn those biceps on a little bit, just sit up tall, that's it. 10 and then circle the ankle. So kind of push the band and reverse your circle. Good, lower the heel to the floor, bend the elbows, hinge and stretch. Nice flat back hinge and then return to sitting tall. Good, inhale. Hinge, exhale, pull the stomach in to help you lift back up. Inhale, hinge, activate those arms. Exhale, pull the stomach in. Good, one more, inhale. And exhale, nice, crisscross the band. So it's still on that same foot, but now it's crisscrossed. Just creating a little bit more tension. So now we're gonna twist to our right. So you're just gonna pull the band, bend that right elbow, turn and look over your shoulder and come back home. Good, bend that elbow, pull on the band, pull, 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 and return home. Good, reach and twist. So lift your spine to twist it, get taller and home. And twist and home and twist. And home. Last one. And release. Next. Okay, now we're going to switch sides. So bringing it onto the left foot. So notice how that felt on that ankle. And then lift this leg up and off the floor, sit tall, and start to point and flex into the band. All right, and again, kind of turn on those biceps. Hold the band nice and taut 
push that foot away. Push through the ball of the foot. Push. Good, and then start your ankle circles, pushing into the band side to side. And then reverse it. Nice, keep going. And set that heel down, hinging and taking a calf stretch through this side. So bend those elbows and hinge, pull. Nice, and lift back up. Inhale, pull strongly, bring those elbows back, draw those shoulders back and scoop and lift. And bend those elbows, pull. And release. And pull. And release. Nice. One more. And release. Good. Crisscross the band on this side. Still keeping the heel on the floor. Sitting nice and tall and right turn to your left. Draw that elbow back, look over that back shoulder, and then bring it home. Nice, and again, inhale. Pull and twist, exhale, bring it back home. Good, and rotate. And back home, nice. And pull, 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 pull. Turn through that rib cage, and release. And again, turn. And release. One more. Turn. And release. And let go of the band, placing the band onto the chair. All right, this next one is kind of a tree stretch. We're just going to give it a whirl. Um, I don't know that I've done this one in the past. You're going to hold that right leg up, hands behind the thigh. And then straighten and bend. So now we're working a little bit of hamstring stretch right through the back of the leg there. Straighten and bend. Okay, so now can you straighten your leg just enough and maybe walk your hand a little further to your calf? Woo! And then maybe pull the leg to you a little bit. So I know eventually we'll get to here, but even if we just find this lift, now you can, if you wanna bring your band back around your foot and bring your leg up, you can do that as well. That might help. Pull that leg and then just pull it to you and then draw chin to the chest and round towards that knee. So this is called tree stretch. And again, I know it's kind of new and release and set that leg down. So let's try the other side. So you're gonna hold that left leg up, hand under the thigh, and first just take these straighten and bends, right? Just kind of warming up that hamstring, noticing how that feels. And then right option to grab your band or just walk your hands towards your calf a little bit. And then pull the leg towards you a little bit. Good, and then draw the chin to the chest and round the nose towards the leg. Good, and release. And set that down. Okay, nice work, guys. That was new, so good job for giving that a try. Come back to seated with your feet flat on the floor for a little cat-cow now. So you're just gonna round the spine and then release, bend those elbows, roll the shoulders back, lift head, neck, and chest. And again, go into your nice big cat and release, come into extension, lift the head, neck and chest to that ceiling. Come back to round. As you flex here, kind of again, notice any tight spots and try and just gently push through them and then bend the elbows, lift head, neck and chest. Just kind of let the spine move in all those directions and release, look up to the ceiling and coming to neutral. All right, coming to some standing leg work, option always to stay seated for this. Uh, we're gonna do some little leg circles. So come and stand. Let me just adjust my camera a moment here.
So starting with just leg circles. So if you're seated in your chair, you can take your band, pull the leg up and begin leg circles, right? So again, if you're seated, you're gonna take this version. If you're standing, we're gonna just challenge our balance a little bit. So take that outside leg, turn the foot out a little bit and circle and circle and circle, right? So you can have a hand on the chair, pull the stomach in, turn the glute on of that standing leg, stand super tall as if the crown of the head could touch the ceiling. Ooh, even if you put your finger up there, it's gonna even help you lift a little bit taller. And pause. All right, we got to go the other direction now. So we're going to lift and you're going to sweep across the body. Inhale and exhale. So if you're seated, make sure you go both directions and lift, lift. Find your stomach to help you lift, lift. Two more. And sit that foot down, shake it out. Nice work. All right, switch sides. So we have the chair for balance. Switch legs. If you're seated, put the band on the other foot. Outside leg, turn it out a little bit. And we're going to start reaching out, around, and up. Out, around, and up. And here's where you're going to just place that finger on the top of the head and just lengthen the body. Lift. Lift. Nice. And then just leave the head there. Lift. 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 Good. And pause. And now reverse directions, sweep across the body, down, around it up. Lift, pull the belly in to lift that leg. And then challenge your balance, six, whoops. Seven, eight, nine, 10, and down, shake it out. Okay, coming into a little bit of a releve. So if you're seated, just put the band away for a moment and come back to those calf raises. So we're just gonna do the same thing standing. Look down and make sure you're parallel. So ankles under the knees, under the hips. Turn your glutes on, float those heels up and set them down. Float up and down. Now, can you find a little bit more inner thigh and glute to help you lift? So not just the ankles. Think about your whole body doing that lifting for you. Squeeze the glutes right here. Tighten the seat. And lift, lift, and lift. Nice. Bringing the heels back down, taking a little bit of a squat with the releve. So you're going to bend the knees, lift the heels, releve, lower the heels. Bend, lift the heels, tighten your seat right here, lift and lower. Bend, lift the heels up. And down, pause, reverse. Lift the heels with your seat, bend the knees a little bit, push the heels to the floor and come home. Lift the heels, bend the knees with control, push the heels into the floor and stand up tall. One more, lift those heels, bend. So keep doing your calf raises if you're seated, push those heels down and release and shake it out. Just take some gentle shoulder rolls here. Release any tension. Nice. Okay, we're going to continue with standing, but always have an option to sit. So now we're going to do single leg march. I'm going to come back to this side just to bring our hand here. So option to hold genie arms, option to hold arms out to a T, or place one hand on the chair. So we are going to start to alternate leg lifts, inhaling and exhaling and lift. So if you're seated, just take these marches. Lift the leg and lift and lift and lift. This is why we have the chair. If you want to even take this pose, if this feels a little bit more secure for you, take it here. Or option to reach those arms out to a T and lift. Yes, even if you're seated, take your arm position. Lift, 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 lift. Lift, lift, nine, and down. Nice, shake it out. Okay, now we're gonna just pulse the leg front to back. So a little bit of scissor action. So taking that outside leg, pull the stomach and lift. You're gonna pulse two to the front, one, two, sweep it behind you, hamstring work, one, two. 
sweep it forward one two one two so if you're seated in your chair just take the front pulse 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 reach the leg back pulse pulse reach the leg back pulse pulse one two a little bit of glute one two 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 last time and down coming into twist all right hands behind the head and even one hand on the chair if you need to so we're going to lift now the inside leg twist to the chair that way you can place your hand on the chair and then come back center so right exactly if you're doing it seated bring those hands behind the head lift that right knee and then turn to it good i'm going to try with both hands behind the head lift and lower down so it takes a lot of control Woo. and lower so it's not a quick move really take your time lift and find that balance on your standing leg lift and twist and even if the leg just comes up a little bit whoo, i don't mind if it doesn't get very high we're just focusing on that balance and twist last one i've lost count and lower down shake it out all right, let's come to the other side. Right, so coming back to our marching in place. So make those genie arms or those T arms your option. You're just gonna inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale. Exhale on the lift. Lift. If you're in the chair, stays nice and tall as you lift. If your arms get tired, bring them into genie arms. That's why I've given you a couple options. Lift, 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 and down. Nice work. Little shoulder roll, little hip wiggle. Scissors on this leg. So we're on that outside leg, right? Two pulses to the front and back. Standing leg does a lot of the work. So take an inhale, pulse, pulse, sweep back, pulse, 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 pulse. Again, option to have a hand on the chair for a little balance. Challenge your balance if you would like. But that standing leg is doing most of this work here, right? Turn your glute on. Pull the stomach in, stay nice and tall. Pulse, 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 pulse. Nice, last time. And down. Woo. Okay, twisting to the chair, right? With that inside leg, hand behind the head. Inhale with our leg at the bottom exhale lift and twist inhale set it down exhale turn and twist inhale down so again i'm just working on this rotation we do a similar move when we're on the mat lying down and we kind of lift the head and turn to that opposite knee and again it's more about the rotation than how far you lift lift twist and that standing leg pushes through the floor and lift two more last one and down nice give everything a little shake and then come and have a seat all right, so that was some good leg and balance work. So hopefully that felt good. Coming into our side bend now with our nice neck stretch. Hands come behind the head and then inhale, just nice lateral bend here again. And then exhale, stomach brings you home. So we get to enjoy a nice stretch, but everyone really work on pulling the belly in to come home. Nice, inhale, exhale. And the reason I'm having the hands behind the head for this one is I want you to keep your head back there in line. 
I don't want the chin to roll forward with this. So just practice that, that sense of pushing head into hand, hand into head, and lift, and lift, and lift. Last one, lift. Coming onto the stretch, right? So we're gonna side bend to that right, draw the chin down, look to the floor and give your head a nice little hug. Drawing that chin to the chest a little deeper, nice and gentle. Open up the elbows, lift back up. Other side, over, turn the head down, find your stretch. Ooh, I feel this right through like the middle of my shoulder blade today. Open up that elbow, lift back up. One more time each side, reach. Draw that down, hug it in. Open back up, lift. Last time, reach, turn, open and come home and release. Just placing two fingers on the chin here. Again, just kind of push the head back in line, kind of retract through the neck, the back of the neck, and then release. And again, just a gentle, you're just kind of pushing the head back on top of that spine and release. And again, just kind of gently push. Good, and maybe feel a little bit of kind of lengthening through the back of the neck there. And release. All right, coming into saw, but first just take a nice inner thigh stretch here after some of that hip work. So just kind of open the feet wide, open the knees wide, and then just push the knees open here for a moment, sitting up tall, roll those shoulders back. Nice, walk the feet in a little bit to prepare for saw. So again, you choose how far apart to put the knees for that twist. Reach the arms to a T. We inhale here through the center, turn to your right, exhale, reach down to the toes, either inside or outside of the foot, exhaling. Inhale, lift through your center, make that nice big T, turn to the left, exhale all the air out, one, two, three, inhale, lift through center, big twist to the right, exhale, one, exhale, two, three, Inhale, lift, nice big T, but shoulders are down, twist to the left. Exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, lift, reach and twist, inhale. Exhale, one, two, three. Last time, inhale, lift, twist left. Exhale, one, exhale, two and three. Lift up, bring your arms home and down. Nice. Coming into some swan. So sit further back in your chair and then taking your hands behind the head. Nice, lift head, neck and chest. Up, up, up and over and come back home. And again, inhale, lift. And release and lift and release. Arms down by your side. All right, coming into our arm series now for arm circles. So options to hold one pound or two pound weights, uh, but leave the weights out of it if you've got any shoulder issues or just a cranky shoulder today. So starting with that right arm, you're just gonna lift that arm, send your gaze back behind you. So I'm just using one pound weights today. Reach, 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 reach. Good, look front, other arm, lift and twist and turn to the back one. Nice, roll the shoulder back two, good, three. Four, 
one more, and then we're gonna switch arms five and reverse directions. So switch back to the other arm, and this time you're gonna reach the arm back, lift it to the front. This takes a little bit more control, especially if you've got a little bit heavier weight. So just take your time, notice how the shoulder rolls. One more. Nice, and look center. Other arm, reaching it to the back. Look back, lift with control. So you're trying to lift this arm uh, with the muscles down through the back, not just the top of the shoulders. So feel all those back muscles down this side of the spine, lifting that arm for you. Lift. I think we have one more. Uh, oh. Nice. Okay, we're doing a little bit more arm work. Option to stay seated and continue with the weights or we can come to standing. I'm gonna stand up for this part. Keeping about one or two pounds. Oops. So first is chest expansion, just a variation of seated swan. You're gonna come into your Pilates stance. So stand with your heels together, Toes are apart or the, the, the ball of the feet are apart a little bit, but you're gonna kind of zip your inner thighs together and turn your seat on. So if you're seated, push your feet into the floor. Reach your palms out in front. Inhale, draw the arms straight back, roll the shoulders back, lift head, neck and chest. And bring everything forward. And again, reach back. So we just get this nice lift, this little inner thigh connection, this glute connection here as we do this standing. Reach those arms front. Roll the shoulders back, lift head, neck, and chest. Can you squeeze a lemon through the shoulder blades? And come front. Now press the arms down here, but don't lift the head yet and just hold. Roll the shoulders back, fold those arms back there. Turn the head to the left. Holding those arms back there, look center. Turn the head to the right, look center. Release the arms out in front. And again, bring those arms down. Press them past the hips, roll the shoulders back, hold, turn the head to the right. Simon says, turn the head to the left. Look center and release. Good, shake those arms up before moving on to the next. Pulling straps. You're gonna now reach your arms shoulder height and then reach down. Roll the shoulders back and can you, can you get the arms to reach a little further? Good, and bring them back home. Push down, stand nice and tall or sit nice and tall, reach, 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 and return. Good, one more, reach and return. Reach your arms to a T. Flip the palms forward. Make a nice big V, like reach the arms down, down, down. Now here, lift the head, neck, and chest a little bit. Good, as the head comes back to neutral, can you lift the arms up and off the back? Again, palms face out, reach your pinkies down past the hips. Go, 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 we're trying to squeeze lemon. Lift the arms with control. Nice, last one. Palms face forward, pinkies reach to your hips. Push those inner thighs together right here. Lift the arms, lower down. Nice. Set those weights down and then come and have a seat for a little bit of clamshell work, inner thigh work. First with clamshell. All right, take that band, cross it, bring the legs together, and then place the band on top of the legs, cross it underneath, and then hold it tight up at the top. Good, and then lift the heels, and then just press the legs open into that band and release. So the tighter the band, the more you're gonna kind of feel this in the legs. So really do what you can to make that band nice and tight. Push into the outer thighs and release. Push and release. Push and release. 
Nice. Push. Nice. Push. And push. Push. Two more. And lower those heels down and release. All right, taking a ball. And again, I'm not sure if everyone has a ball. If not, can use your hands to create your own resistance onto the inner thigh. So if you don't have a ball, just take the back of the hands, open the legs hip distance, and you're just gonna kind of push palm into knee, knee into palm, right? Just kind of turning on the inner thigh. If you have a little ball, you're gonna inhale and you're gonna just press that ball together, turning on that inner thigh and then exhale, release. Inhale, prepare, and now exhale to squeeze the ball. Inhale, release. Exhale, push. Inhale, release. Exhale, see if you can kind of pull the stomach in as you press onto that inner thigh and release. And press. And release. And press, and release. And one more, press, and release. Nice, and set the ball down. Good, coming into a little balance work. So everyone come and stand again. All right, so the reason I kind of cued those inner thigh, that inner thigh work right now is we are gonna create a little balance beam. So you're gonna step your right foot in front of the left. So just imagine you're on a balance beam and you have one foot in front of the other and you're gonna press your inner thighs towards one another to help you hold and reach your arms out to a T. I know, there you go. If it helps to find a little spot in front of you to focus on, pick something out. Good. Nice, lower the arms down as you bring the back foot to the front. And then same thing, Whoop. find your inner thigh connection, reach those arms out to a T and then hold, hold, hold. And lower down. Good, coming back to parallel. So a little bit more balance work. So you have your hand on the chair, take the outside leg, lift that knee and hold. And then just challenge your balance. Good, then just lengthen the leg and hold. Bend the knee back in, yep. Yep, make sure you've got a wall or a chair, just hold, yep. Now just open the knee to the side, kind of like a tree. Good, bring the knee back in with control. Set the foot down. Nice work. Step to the other side of the chair so we have that balance for us. All right, standing tall, feet parallel. Float that outside leg up so you have the chair. So just hold and then here's where you challenge. Nice. Good job, everyone. And then straighten that leg. Again, we have the chair. Bend the leg. Open up the hip. Here's our modified tree. Bring the leg back home and lower down. Nice job. Turn the chair, coming into a little plank and L stretch. So I'd like to have the seat of the chair facing me for a bit of a wider base. If this is too much for you on the chair, you can always come to a wall, place your palms onto the wall and do a little bit of a standing plank where you'll just place your palms against a wall and then just try not to lean into it. Otherwise reach those arms up to the ceiling, inhale chin to the chest, Roll, placing the palms onto the side of the chair. Walk the feet back to take your L stretch here. Reach the tailbone away. Lower the head between those elbows. 
Takes a nice few deep breaths here, bending the knees if it's too much on the legs. So sometimes the hamstrings are just too tight. You can always bend the knees. Then you're gonna lengthen, you're gonna lift head, neck and chest, roll the body forward so the shoulders are over those wrists, adjust the feet, pull the stomach in and then push the shoulders up like you're gonna press the ceiling away. So sometimes we end up hanging out here in our plank, like in our shoulders and wrists and elbows. I want you to straighten those arms. Imagine you're holding some lemons underneath each arm. Pull the stomach off the floor, right? Just pull it in and up, tighten your glutes and then breathe. Just keep imagining you're pulling that belly button in, buttoning it to the spine and release, come back on the heels, walk the feet right underneath your hips so you can take this stretch. And then just walk the feet in towards the chair to roll on up. And then turn the chair to face forward. Coming into a little bit more arm work. Again, option to stay seated or standing, your choice. And I am gonna move it up to two pounds now. You can do a little bit more. We're doing some bicep curls, a little bit of a chest fly and triceps. So it's up to you on, on what weight you would like to use for this. So sitting up nice and tall, push your feet into the floor again. Palms are gonna face one another for the first set of biceps. And then you're gonna bend the elbow, squeeze and release. And squeeze and release. So even if you're using a light weight, just know, right? You're gonna really activate that bicep right here and then release with control. Reach and down, reach. And down. Nice. All right, float those arms shoulder height. This gets a little bit more challenging. So if you've got that heavier weight, just take note. Bend those arms here for that bicep curl and reach them away. Stay seated tall here. I don't want us to kind of sink into our hips just because this gets a little bit more challenging to stay seated and reach and pull. And reach, oh, and reach. One more, nice. Lower those arms down, take a little shoulder roll. One more set, this time you're gonna reach your arms out to the side and bend and push away and bend. So by now, if this is getting too heavy, drop those weights for me and just take the simple bicep curl, press and reach, press and reach, press, reach. Last one, arms down, take a little shoulder roll. Nice job. For triceps, we're all gonna hinge at our hips, bringing those arms down towards the floor, bend the elbows up by your ribs and then press those arms behind you and release and press and release, press and release, press. Squeeze those triceps, press, press, press. And pause, lift back up to sitting. All right, next one is our chest fly. So we're gonna hinge at the hip again, pull the stomach in off the legs, right? So you're not just kind of relaxing or hanging out. You have a nice soft bend to the elbow and then start to lift the arms up and lower them down with control. Again, move from the back. So no tension in the neck or the top of the shoulders. I want you to kind of feel this right behind that mid back. And lift, and lift, one more. And from here, lower yourself all the way down so you can set the weights down to the floor, draw the chin to the chest, take a nice back stretch here.
pull the stomach in and roll on up. Coming into your four stretch. So right heel over left knee. Gently push that left knee open or right knee open. Hinge forward. Lift back up and set the foot down. Other side, left over right. Open the knee. Nice. Reach. Lift and bring the feet down. Take a peek at your feet and you're just gonna kind of dome the foot, the feet, and then release. So just kind of imagine you're just kind of curling your toes under, lifting the bottom of your foot up, lifting up through that arch and release. Curl the toes and release. One more time, curl the toes in, lifting up through the bottom of the foot and release. Then this time you're gonna reverse. You're gonna lift the toes to the ceiling and try and spread them wide and put it down. Sometimes it helps to look at your toes. So lift them and try and spread the toes apart and set them down. Lift, spread and down. Nice, coming into a larger mermaid today. So sit all the way back in your chair, taking that right leg out to the side. So if that's too much on the hip, you can always keep your feet together, but try and just open up this hip and you might have to kind of play with rolling it out and in to kind of find a nice spot for it. Sometimes it gets a little bit pinchy here. And then take that right arm up, slide down towards the floor, use the leg of the chair to help support you. Good, lift back up. Nice big side bend, reach all the way. Imagine someone's gently pulling your palm up and over the head and lift back up. One more. Imagine someone's just gently spreading the rib cage apart right here for you. And lift. Nice, and bring that leg back home to center. Hopefully that felt good. Other side, send that left leg long and notice how the hip feels here. Reach that left arm up. Inhale, nice side bend. Ooh. Exhale, lift back up. And again, reach and stay there. And again, imagine someone's gently pulling that palm further and further and lift back up. Last one, reach. And lift back up, lower that arm down, bring the feet together. Nice. Just everyone bring your hands onto the tops of the legs and then just close your eyes for a moment. And then with eyes closed, just kind of look up to the ceiling. I'm just gonna kind of stretch through the eyes here a moment, look down to the floor, look right, look left. Again, look up, look down, look right, look left, come center, open those eyes, inhale, lift those arms up, exhale, lower down, inhale, lift, Exhale down. Last one, inhale, lift. And exhale down. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Everyone have a great day and I will see you next time. Take care. Thank you, bye. Thank bye. you so much. Thank you. Thank you, wonderful. First welcome. time, thank you. Oh, thank you're you. welcome. I'm glad thank you Thank you very it. much. Yes, thank you. I have very bad balance issues. I got it, and osteoporosis. Pilates is good for osteoporosis. Uh, yes. So we, you know, we kind of uh, skip a, skip some of the moves that would, you know, aren't so yeah. great for spine, and we, we keep it to a flat back hinge and really focus on the abdominal uh, work through it. So yeah. yeah.
Yeah, because I've been reading, there's a Dr. Fishman in New York who says that yoga can turn osteoporosis around. So I, I hope that Pilates can help a little bit too. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. all the twisting and lengthening. So whenever we like are doing these big, like we're trying to lift that spine. Yeah. Yes. And then working on your balance, that kind of weight bearing yeah. as well. So yes. Well, yeah. Good. So thank you so very much. Thank you. See you next week, You're right? Uh, every thank you. Yeah. Every what? Every it's two every weeks? Yeah. Oh, every other week. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mary Therese. Bye. Bye, Jerry.